Hi, my name is Taryn Mangelsdorf. I'm a Sustainable Agricultural Officer with Adelaide Mount Lofty Ranges Natural Resources. The Pinery Fire came through the Lower Mid North and Adelaide Plains November 2015. It burnt 80 to 1,500 hectares within five hours and through an area that was mid-harvest. So a lot of this area hasn't had cover uh, since November last year. One of the biggest issues in this area is soil cover and you can see a bit of soil and sand drifting through. What we're doing is working with the guys from Rural Solutions, Persa, to help remediate and stabilise some of the soil issues. We're doing this in a two-part process. Behind me is clay spreading, where they're digging up some clay in the area and then putting it on the soil next to it. So finding a clay pit in the area, then spreading it on top of some other sandier soil. Then following this process is a spading process, where that clay is then worked into that topsoil, ready for sowing. Here in the uh, Pinery Fire Ground on these sand hills, claying is a way to immediately stop the sand drift by putting that red blanket of clay on the surface will actually um, stabilise the soil very quickly and stop it from moving around. A um, bit of rain on it will seal the clay and uh, will make it a safer proposition. Behind us the uh, clay spreader is now filling in the last clay pit. Part of the operation is, is so the pits get filled in and landholders don't have a big hole in their paddock. He'll fill this one in and, and then move up the sand hill and, and dig out a new pit for the, the clay to be spread on the rest of the uh, sand hill here. We, we've chose this site, this clay pit, because it's uh, quite a friendly clay. It breaks down quite easily. It, it's probably uh, 25 to 30 percent clay. It's, um, uh, it's not sodic, very little carbonate. We chose this site because we didn't want any carbonate. So this is an area where we've got some clay spreading that happened yesterday. And you can see the colour difference and you can see the clods on top, they're gonna to help stabilise this soil and change it from a sandier paddock to a bit more clay content. Here is what we're gonna be working on today. Other operations as going on behind us is the uh, actual spreading of clay and obviously working with your contractor to uh, get the type of job that you want, want to do, like matching the clay rate to the sand. Here the sand in the mid-north has got a, already got a sort of 4% clay content, so we just want to take it up to 8%, 8 to 9% clay, um, remove the non-wetting and uh, and start adding some cation exchange capacity for future productivity. The next operation after this is to, is to level it with some smudge bars to break up those clods, get a nice even surface, and then the clay can sit for a while and weather until well, you, probably early break of the season when you want to mix it back in. You can use deep discs or a spader machine um, and uh, main thing is to get the preparation right before they before incorporation. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of mistakes in the past have been where incorporation hasn't been done well enough to get that homogeneous mix and so working it again in um, uh, five years time might be useful but in, obviously in a no-till system you're not not working at all, so um, so ha having a re-cultivate again to mix it up would be provide a much better job. It's also got long-term productivity benefits to reduce the non-wetting to zero, and also to um, improve the uh, nutrient uh, capacity of the soil because we're taking it from four percent clay to eight or nine percent. You've got also more moisture holding retention from the clay, so you've got more moisture at seeding, and um, pl plus that stability of erosion control being a bit, bit higher texture grade. Um, 
yeah, long-term benefits like might take a few years for the fertility to build up, but uh, the, the sand overall will be much, much more productive in the future. The oldest uh, clay spread in the state is 40 years old, so expect not to do it again in, in, um, in that time. Natural Resources Adelaide and Matlofty Rangers are working in partnership with Northern and York Natural Resources to provide support and advice to all landholders affected by the Pinery Fire. For more advice and information about how we can help you, please head to our website.